Hi everyone, today we're going to paint some snowflakes. This is actually one of my favorite paintings because it's loose and just the way the snowflakes turned out after removing the masking fluid, I absolutely love it and I could not wait to share this with you, this idea of painting the snowflakes or actually just using masking fluid to create these snowflakes. So the thing about the masking fluid, first we are painting the background. So we're not using masking fluid until the first layer is fully dry. Once the masking fluid is fully dry, then we re-wet the paper again. So this is our reference image. So at first it seems a little dark in some places, I'd say. And even overall, like the background, it's more grayish, like blue-gray. So that's when I decided to add more colors in it. And I also decided, and this is the sketch, so you can download my sketch. Uh, you don't actually even need a sketch if you are comfortable creating that snowflake uh, just kind of like freehand and this is the list of all the art supplies that I used for this painting so another painting on Hannah Mule collection and this is cold press this was a block so I was painting on the block and this is 9 by 12 size uh, you could do this and this is a screenshot of my working palette so you always know where I place my colors so it's easier to follow along so the first thing I am doing is diluting paint with water this step is very important because we are going to paint the first layer wet on wet. And once we wet the paper, we don't have that much time really 